Now, a chicken farmer has confirmed that some who rear chickens and pigs for, uh, for mass consumption in Nairobi use too much antibiotics meant for humans to make their animals grow quickly. This came after scientists from Kenya Medical Research Institute, Kemri, raised the alarm that some children in Nairobi were beginning to show resistance to common drugs. A research carried out by Kenya Medical Research Institute, Kemri, has now revealed some shocking details for Nairobians who love chicken. The study warns that it has become harder to treat ailments in the city. Reason being, livestock farmers, especially those serving Nairobi with poultry and pork products, extensively feed antibiotics to their animals, especially chicken and pigs. Zinapewa hizi antibiotic hata wakati ambapo hazitajiki. Hazina maradhi yoyote ambazo zinahitaji antibiotic. Sasa shida inatokea hivi kwamba uh, kutu, kutumia antibiotic vibaya uh, baadaye inakuja kwa mwanadamu kwa wanadamu kwa njia tofauti tofauti. The team which was studying whether patients in affected areas have been infected with drug resistant diseases strains found many cases in Bagadi and Thika sub-county hospitals. Toto na watu wazima vile vile. Magonjwa ambayo tunazungumzia ni magonjwa kama ni umaonya utapata mtu itafika wakati tukiendelea jinsi tunavyoendelea kwa sasa kutumia antibiotic vibaya. Itafika wakati kwamba maradhi kama pneumonia hivi itakuwa kwamba hatuwezi tukazitibu vizuri. Utapata ugonjwa kama typhoid ambayo inamkukiza damu, tutapata kwamba huwezi kutibu vizuri. Hata ugonjwa ambao tunatibu kwa njia rahisi sana ambazo zinaleta ugonjwa kama za kuharisha hivi na ambazo zimeletwa na hivi hivi viini ambazo tunaita ni bacteria itafika wakati ambapo hatutaweza kuvitibu the accused are small scale farmers from Vika, Limuru and Gatundu and surrounding areas and according to Kemri they use a lot of growth boosters and antibiotics so as to boost maturity and add weight Michael Njoroge a poultry farmer from Vika seems to agree with the study I want to almost agree with uh, with uh, with uh, with, uh, with, uh, with those findings and uh, for that reason, that is why many people now, the trend is slowly changing. The most affected is chicken meat sold in Nairobi, followed by pig products and then beef. Scientists are citing evidence showing high levels of drug failure in treating patients, even common diseases such as typhoid and diarrhea. Is she the antibiotic? Tutafanyaje? Ndiyo tuizuie kwa sababu, tukipata hii shida tunasema ni resistance, hizi vini zikifika mahali ambapo Hizi dawa zuweze zikafanya kazi sana, tutakuwa na shida kubwa. Italeta maafa kubwa sana. So a time may come when we have infections that are more difficult to treat. So the problem affects both human beings and animals. Furthermore, the Cambry team says they have ample evidence to prove that the practice is widespread. Tukitumia antibiotic vibaya, zitaenda majini, uh, zile maji ambao tunatumia kutoka kwa visima, uh, you don't necessarily have to have a lot of space to make sure that your chicken are going organic. Uh, there, there are now new and uh, new methods of uh, ensuring that uh, the chicken nutrition uh, is available even when you keep them in-house. The farmers and Kemri scientists now want the government to come in and regulate the rearing of popular sources of meat like chicken and pigs. Francis M. Telaki. KTN.